Happy Buddies, Jonathan here, Psalm 40 from the forum. So this is my first tutorial in the area of the drum sets editor. And this is going to be specifically an overview of the drum sets editor, mainly because this subject is so vast. And so I've decided to, uh, to split these tutorials um, across a number of different tutorials on different subjects. Um, so this is specifically an overview of the drum sets editor how to unpack a drum kit and how to edit various parameters and what the different terminology means within it. Um, also, I just want to make you aware that Singular Sound did produce a manual uh, on the drum sets editor. And if you missed it, it came with the Beat Buddy Manager, both version 1.32 and version 1.33. And so if you go to your downloads area, where you downloaded the BB Manager, or maybe you need to re-download it if you've deleted it. Um, it was a zip file, just double click and there it is. Now first I just skipped through it um, and ignored that it was there. However, it is very good. It's written specifically for um, users who want to create a drum kit from scratch. Um, it looks slightly different because it's a uh, when they took the screenshots, it was an older version of the Beat Buddy Manager software. However, it explains very well how you would go about it, how things work. You can even drag and drop within the drum sets editor. Um, and also uh, the various terminologies that are used. So I recommend that you read this specifically if you're going to create a drum kit from scratch. But if you're just interested in understanding more, everything to do with MIDI and velocity layers. Some things I'm going to mention, some things I'm probably going to miss as I go through this. So just wanted to let you know that that was available and I would encourage you to read it. So on with the show. So the drum sets editor, to click on, uh, to get there, you just click on that tab, the drum sets. So this is a list of the drum kits that, uh, that come with the beat body. So when you go import, an import project from Pedal. Uh, you will see these unless you've downloaded any more, but this is the stock beats. This, If you've not done anything with the Pedal, this is what you will get. So you've got your standard kit. Now you will notice you click on it, Drum Set Maker, there's nothing there. To actually open it, you need to double click on it. And before I do that, let me just show you, this is Documents, BB Workspace, UserLib. This is your user area, and this is where it unpacks things. So you can see there's actually nothing there. There's a README. Placeholder for user created drum sets. Well, once you unpack these by double clicking and going yes, it unpacks it and there it is. So now we've got a standard kit in there. And you will already notice that it's at 98 meg. Although according to here, it's 95. So this is the size of the drum kit. And the beat buddy is limited to 100 meg for its drum sets. So that only gives you, if you trust this to be 100, then that only gives you 5 meg for other samples. So as many have noticed, you do not get the full complement of the general MIDI uh, drum map set within the beat body. Um, and that's the reason, the mainly the reason why I believe is because you can only have 100 meg. So we're just going to start at the top and run through these. In fact, before I do that, you will notice that once you unpack something, and we'll do the same with rock, we'll discard the changes that we've made. It gets a little square and a tick, and that means that it's available. Also, I'm going to unpack Latin. And also percussion. The C percussion is only 25 meg, so that's not a very big kit at all. So you will notice these ticks. This means that they're available uh, to choose for songs. So now I've unticked them. If we go to songs, uh, might as well stay with blues. Blues one. So you can only do metal, jazz, brushes, dance, ether ethereal, <laughs> or voice. There is no rock. There's no standard, there's no Latin, there's no percussion because they're unticked here. But once they're ticked, they're making them available to use. 
I'm not sure of the reason for that, but if you're trying to use a drum set after you've edited, edited it and you can't find it, that will be the reason why. Just make sure that it's ticked. Uh, again, just to go here so you can see you've got Latin. So one easy way of actually closing these down, I mean, why would you want to? But you can just go delete. And that's the unpacked version. So you could also copy these. And we'll just put it in there for now. And then you can re-import them from there. So I've actually now created a backup of the standard kit. Um, and we'll keep the... We'll reopen the, the Latin one so I can show you something later on. But we'll start with the with the standard kit, and we might as well save. It took a bit longer than I expected. So this is the name of the kit, and this is the standard kit. You can right click or left click on that, and it'll allow you to edit the name. So if we call it standard kit one, uh, there's no OK button, so you just press the return key. And once you do that, it's updated, but it's not updated there. You need to double click to save it. And then it will be reflected and then it will refresh everything again. So a drum kit is made up of a number of instruments. So an instrument is a kick drum. If we scroll through, cross stick, snare, hi-hat, and so on and so forth. Each instrument can be assigned a MIDI note. So as you can see there, the kick drum is using MIDI note 36. If I go to my browser and general MIDI map, you will see that the bass drum in a general MIDI drum map is for the bass drum. But you could also have an acoustic bass drum on 35. And the beat buddy wouldn't know what to do with 35, so it would stay silent. Um, and because of the size, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of these are now catered for within the beat buddy. So that's the um, 36. If you click on these, you can actually edit them. So you've got instrument name. If you wanted to, you could change it. Um, you can change the MIDI note that it's actually triggering on. So I am going to mention this in a further tutorial, but say you have a MIDI file which has got 35, MIDI note 35 as its bass drum. The beat buddy now would play to MIDI 35. The problem is all the other stock beats wouldn't have a drum, uh, wouldn't have a kick drum. I will show you how to get around that in my next tutorial. So we'll just move that back to 36. Uh, the choke group is to do with uh, making sure that certain samples are not triggered at the same time that would be unrealistic in a drum kit scenario so a drummer would never be able to have an open hi-hat and a closed hi-hat sound at the same time so to avoid that you would just make sure those instruments are in the same choke group and then they will not trigger at the same time if you had a MIDI file that had that um, programmed. Uh, fill choke group is very similar. Uh, just to add, the choke group and the fill group is explained very well within the Beat Buddy Manager software. So if I've not made a good job of that, then um, and it still doesn't make any sense, go to the manual and um, it will make more sense there. So the fill choke group is to do with um, avoiding flams um, and ensuring that fills work correctly. Again, uh, the Beat Buddy Manager uh, manual. Uh, the drum set, sorry, the drum set manual is the place to go for more information on that. And then you've got the overall volume of the instrument. So currently the kick drum is at minus one. I'll just go OK to put that back to 36. So the instrument is made up of these WAF samples. So the quietest is up here and the loudest is down there. You can hear that has quite a thump to it. If we lower the volume, to minus 10 dB, you can see that's a lot quieter. And so that's one way that you can change 
the um, the volume of certain instruments, specifically if you think the toms are too loud, you can turn them down that way. And then just save. We're going to put it back to minus one. And continue working through. And polyphony, again, explained in the manual itself, but I believe it's the amount of samples that will trigger at the same time. So we'll go OK. So those are clickable. You can add further samples, but before I go any further, um, all these stock beats, all their WAF samples that are within them, you can't get to them any other way. They're only within these kits. So you can't browse to them. You can't use them in other kits. But you can add your own samples to any of these kits. So one thing that the manual mentions is velocity layers, which is, well, sounds quite complicated to me, but basically it is each MIDI note has got a velocity attached to it. So if you press a key softly, you will get a low velocity, and if you hit it hard, you'll get a high velocity. And of course, the same applies to um, a drum kit. And these are all the samples that trigger to these different velocities. So if you have a MIDI file that has MIDI note 36, which is the kick drum, at a velocity of 100, it will either play that sample, that sample, or that sample. And there's an algorithm uh, within the beat body that chooses which of these it plays, so it's as random as possible, because like any drummer, a drummer will never hit a drum the same way twice. And so that's another reason why the beat buddy is so um, realistic um, and the samples sound so good. And also because it's got all these different uh, WAF samples just for the kick drum. So these are all the, all the samples that come with the standard kit. As I mentioned, it doesn't have any percussion kits. To get to the percussion kit, you would... You know, you could use the Latin, but the problem with the Latin is that a lot of these are non-standard general MIDI, so you've suddenly got conga 1 and 0, so these are great with the stock songs that come with the beat body, but very difficult to use um, with your own MIDI files. So that was just a general overview of the drum sets editor within the beat body manager software. In my next tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to actually copy a drum set so you can then make changes to it without altering the original and also how to import a sample. So I'll see you in the next video.